Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to develop ladder logic from digital logic circuit. So let's look at the example first. Example 20. As you can see here, there are four inputs A, B, C and D and the output is Y. So A and B will be connected in parallel because there is all logic gate between A and B. Similarly, C and D for C and D, there is all logic gate. So C and D will be used as normally open contacts and will be connected in series. And A plus B will be connected in series with C plus D. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw the ladder diagram for this digital logic circuit. So this is the interface of TI portal. Firstly, I will go to PLC tags, default tag table, and here we need to add our inputs and outputs. So the first one is, so the first one is A, then B, then C, and D. And we have output that is Y. And I will change the address of the output as Q0.0. And then let's minimize this. Go to program blocks main OB1. So here we will be drawing the ladder diagram. I will collapse this and then zoom in. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact here for A. It will be A. And then there is all logic gate between A and B. So I will open the branch at normally open contact and this normally open contact will be connected in parallel with this A, thus implementing all logic gate. So this is B. So we have implemented all logic gate between A and B. Then we have a normally open contact for C and I will open the branch here. And then there will be one more normally open contact for D and I will close a branch. So this will be C and then this will be D and I will insert a normal a coil for the output that is Y. So for output Y to be on either A or B should be on and either C or D should be on. So that means if A and C are on output Y will be on. If A and D are on output Y will be on. If B and C are on, output Y will be on, or if B and D are on, the output will be on. So I will start the simulator here. Okay. Click on load and then we have to click on finish. And after that, I will start CPU and then start monitoring. And after that, switch to project view. And here, let's create a new project. After that, we will go to simulation tables and simulation table 1. And then I will right click here and load project tags. So now we are ready for the simulation. So when I turn on A and then C, output Y will be on. Or if I turn on A and D, the output Y will be on. And then if I turn on C and B, the output Y will be on. Or if I turn on B, and D, the output Y will be on. 
or when I turn on A and B, output Y will remain off or if I turn on C and D, the output Y will be off. So either A or B should be on and with that C or D should be on. A and C are on, output Y will be on. A and D are on, output Y will be on. B and C are on, output Y will be on. Or B and D are on, output Y will be on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.